It's the weekend recap. The Baltimore Orioles take three of four from the Texas Rangers. On Saturday, the O's became just the third team in ALNL history to hit at least 60 homers in a single month. First, it was Anthony Santander who went deep, giving him 13 homers for the month of June. And then the 60th came off the bat of rookie Heston Kerstad for his first career Grand Slam. In the final game of the series, Rangers rookie Wyatt Lankford gave us the first cycle of the 2024 season with a home run in his final at bat. He's the first Rangers rookie to hit for the cycle since Oda Bay McDowell in 1985. The Yankees and Blue Jays split four. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is heating up. After Saturday, he had homered five times in his last six games with 19 RBIs. On Sunday, the Yankees salvaged the series. Aaron Judge hits his 31st home run of the year. That's halfway to 62. And Garrett Cole picked up his first win of the season. A big-time series win for the Kansas City Royals, beating the Cleveland Guardians three out of four times. With the All-Star game just a few weeks away, it's time to start thinking about possible starting pitchers. In the American League, it's got to be the Royals' Seth Lugo. On Sunday, he goes another six shutout innings with 10 strikeouts and now leads all of baseball an ERA at 2.17 and wins with 11. The San Diego Padres are now four games over 500 after taking two of three from the Boston Red Sox at Fenway on Saturday. Manny Machado left the yard twice. His first one cleared the monster. It was his 40th career multi-homer game. That is the most among active players. The Milwaukee Brewers keep trucking along. They take two of three from the Chicago Cubs. Move over, Slam Diego. There's a new sheriff in town. Bryce Terang's Grand Slam on Sunday gave Milwaukee their fifth Grand Slam in their last eight games. They've hit more Grand Slams in their past eight games alone than in 38 of their first 55 seasons in Brewers franchise history. The Dodgers dropped two of three to the hated ones, the San Francisco Giants. On Friday night, Brett Wisely came to the plate in the bottom of the ninth against Blake Trinan and hit the walk-off two-run homer.